So something that we actually did at Danville for the same application probably a decade ago or more is a really simple idea. Uh, so you, t you take your incoming stream, which today is probably digital anyway, because unlike, um, because very, very little product going into your vinyl record is actually not stored digitally in an archive format. But whether it is or not, it doesn't matter. It either goes into an A to D converter or to digital stream, and we can put it into what's called a delay line. This is a delay line. And a delay line, just basically, I get a sample, next sample, next sample, next sample, and I have in, in delays, if you will, and out the other end comes essentially identical signal to what went in. Um, and once again, now I can say, oh, yeah, this is when I anticipate something, but the cutter head isn't until back here. So I have time to say, oh, I need more space or I need less space, and I can make adjustments in some way. And this is nothing more than a simple delay line. So this would be a, a really simple way you can use, you know, there's not a lot of DSP processing. Obviously, you could do more things in, in the DSP, like inverse RA, double A's, and, and other kinds of processing if you chose to. But this fundamental idea of delay is, is that simple. Um, in the past, we actually did some of these kind of delays. And people say, well, we've already had analog delay lines. And the answer is kind of. And it was called a bucket brigade. Bucket brigade. And what this was was a device that would have a bunch of capacitors inside. And you'd, you'd, you'd go through and you'd have a charge here and then charge stored here, charge stored here as it went down this little thing. And if you didn't do anything with these outputs, it's a delay line. The signal noise was not particularly great. Uh, these were made by companies like Redicon, I think Panasonic made some, that we're talking about maybe 30 years ago. And if you actually put resistors here and summed them from these outputs, this was an actually discrete time fur filter. They were called transversal filters, usually in those days. And it's not really a digital filter, because a digital filter implies quantization, in other words, turning your data into ones and zeros, basically. But a discrete time works exactly the same, and the math is actually the same. So I wouldn't really call this an analog technique. I'd call it a discrete time filter. Um, it's kind of a hybrid in today's uh, world. But it did exist, and, and people, you don't see these anymore. I don't know if anyone even makes bucket brigades anymore. I certainly haven't used one for 30 years. 